Let's graph the linear equation x plus y equals 5. And we're going to use slope-intercept formula to do that. You can use a table of values to graph this equation, but in this video, we'll use slope-intercept formula. If you need help with the table of values, there's a link at the end of this video. So right now, we don't have this in slope-intercept formula. We want to get x over on this side. So let's subtract x from both sides. And that'll give us y equals 5 minus x. But we want x in the front. So let's move the 5 over here and the x back here. So now we have b, we have x, and the slope m, we can just put a 1 here. Negative 1x, still negative x. So we have our slope-intercept formula. We can graph the equation x plus y equals 5. Our first point, the y-intercept, that's 5. So we go to the y-axis, we find 5. That's where we're going to intercept the y-axis. For the slope, we have negative 1, but it's helpful to think about this as negative 1 over 1, because then we can call it rise over run. So we go to the y-intercept here, and we have a rise of negative 1. That means if we had just 1, we'd go up, we'd rise 1. But negative 1, we go down 1, and then we go 1 to the right, and we run to the right. Then we can do that again. We come over here, we go down 1, because we have negative 1 as our rise, to the right. And you can see we have our line here. You could go the opposite direction as well. You could go up, and then 1 to the left. And those points, they'd be on the line as well. Let's put a line through this. And then arrows to show that this goes to infinity. And this is the graph for x plus y equals 5. Again, you could use a table of values. You'd get the very same graph. This is Dr. B graphing x plus y equals 5. Thanks for watching.